Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Learning Pathways series. Today, we'll be looking at chronic urticaria. It is also referred to as chronic hives. Urticaria is another word for hives, an itchy skin rash that has raised red welts or spots. Some people develop hives that come on fast and last a few days or for up to six weeks. These are known as acute hives. They are sometimes caused by allergens such as food, latex, insect venom, or medication. Some people develop hives that come and go for six weeks or more. These are known as chronic hives or chronic urticaria. Chronic urticaria can appear at any time, many times without obvious trigger. When this happens, it's called chronic idiopathic urticaria, or CIU. Idiopathic means of unknown cause. It is important to remember that hives are not contagious. So how common is chronic urticaria? 20% of people in the United States develop hives at some point in their lives. About 1.6 to 3.3 million people in the United States develop chronic urticaria. Chronic urticaria most often occurs in people between the ages of 20 and 40. Women are twice as likely to have it than men. Chronic urticaria is thought to be an immune system response. That's why it is best to see a board-certified allergist who is trained in immunology or a dermatologist. Symptoms of chronic urticaria are not life-threatening, but they can cause extreme skin irritation and tenderness. That can have a big impact on quality of life. Most people with chronic urticaria will develop an itchy skin rash accompanied by raised welts or spots. Hives can occur on different parts of the body. People with chronic urticaria are often frustrated by this unpredictable disease. Some people describe urticaria episodes as feeling like a poison ivy sensation or wanting to scratch their skin off. The constant itching can make it hard to get quality sleep. Tender skin can leave people in pain and fatigue. The healthcare cost, as well as loss of work or school productivity, can further add to the burden. People living with chronic urticaria are more likely to have symptoms of anxiety and depression than those without the condition. They may feel socially embarrassed about their skin. It may cause them to avoid social situations. Talk with your doctor about how chronic urticaria is impacting your mental health and quality of life. Your doctor may recommend you see a mental health professional to work through your emotions related to your hives. People with chronic urticaria can lead full, healthy, and active lives when their symptoms are under control. Join us for another Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.